Alright, I feel like this one's gonna catch some air. Alright, ready, ready, ready? Spin a mo spin a money, spin a money, spend it a hundred billion million bands at the kiosk in a money S Fuck. Spin a hundred, skin a pig, skin a pig, skin a skin a pig till I get really motherfucking big. Eat pork skins, I don't give a fuck till the sun come up, the light go down. I don't know. Anyway, what's up guys? How's it going? How's your day? You doing good? How you doing? I got a very interesting gem for you guys today. Oh my god! Shut up, clock. I can hear you ticking from here! But basically, I have a science experiment video. Oh, wait, I need to go get my other camera. Hold on, I'll be right back. Ah. So, guys. You can fit in five science experiments in this video. Burger! Burger! First one, I would like to call the uh, cup pong science experiment. We're gonna be drinking loads of alcohol every time I miss. But I saw this science experiment online. I got all these science experiments from Gabe Helmy, one of my favorite YouTube channels ever, and, and I wanted to do them for myself. See, Gabe Helmy is one of the most talented YouTubers, especially when it comes to science experiments, of all motherfucking time, okay? Burger. And I'm one of the least talented, most talented, least, le most least, less talented creators on the platform. So I wanted to try to do it, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll see what how how it happened. So basically what you're supposed to do is drop a cup Like that with water in it with a, a ping-pong paw paw in it And it's supposed to shoot up the ball is supposed to shoot up and, and low-key I feel like playing ping-pong, you know, I need to be careful not to spill that water Get out. There's tape. I don't have time to follow the rules of physics. <laughs> ah! This could be really bad. I could spill. Because I can't take you outside because it's hot. And the freaking thing will fog up. I'm going to fill it up halfway. And there's the ball in there. So what I'm going to do is... um. Ah! Is that a thumbnail that I see? God damn it. I put the cup of water on my phone. You see what I mean by less talent, least most less talented? Ah! ah! Probably shouldn't do this on the carpet. Huh. Oh my god! Did you see that? Ah! Yo, it, it worked. It, it worked. There's still some water in it. Let me try it. Oh, fuck. Let me go. I'm gonna go fill it up. Ready? Set? Go! Damn it. It spilled. Solo, what the hell, bro? <laughs> Alright, I, I hope you saw that science experiment good enough, man. Alright, I'm gonna go back inside and continue to do the other science experiments. Did I say pretend to do the other science? How can you pretend to do a science experiment? I don't think I even said pretend. Okay, first science experiment, done. Next science experiment has to do with fire. Leave a like if you're ping pong ball gang. So I saw this one on one of Gabe's newest videos, but for you it might be kind of old. But um, it's where you put a candle, where you light a little candle, and you put it on the surface of the water, but you, you push down on the cup, and the candle will stay lit. <laughs> lit, okay? Well, it was one of the stupidest experiments that I've ever seen, but kind of cool at the same time. So I wanted to try it for myself because I, I like to experience things. So here's the fire. And this is one of the tricks that tricks. This isn't the magic video. Experiments that I kind of just fit into the video. I didn't. I wasn't planning on doing. Here we go. Okay, and it should float. Yeah, yeah. And then all you got to do is push it down and it'll stay lit. Okay, well that didn't go according to plan. Well shit. 
Okay, now put it down. Wait, wait, I can do better. All right, I'm gonna put you in first. How about that? F it touched the goddamn. Yo! Oh, shit! Woo! <laughs> Science! Probably one of the most lamest fuck. Next trick. I mean, fuck. I bet you that I can blow out these candles. I mean, they're not lit. <laughs> I bet you that I can blow out these candles without blowing on them physically. The way that you're gonna do this is put some vinegar. Oh, wait a minute. Am I supposed to put baking soda first? We're gonna put some vinegar. And then what we're gonna do is pour it. Oh fuck, I poured it. Whoops. It's hard to do it with <laughs> without pouring the liquid out. It really is. It really is. Oh my god, this smells like the freaking experiment that I did in eighth grade. I made a battery out of coins in eighth grade. It was so sick. Oh shit. But yeah, basically the gas um, puts it out. The gas coming from the vinegar and the baking soda. I, I don't know how to scientifically, but like, you know, baking soda vinegar and that, you know? Oh my gosh! Oh fuck! It's so hard! Oh! Yo! We got it! Yes! I'm a magician! Call me freaking Einstein! Next experiment! Okay, so I saw I wanted to do this thing called a matchbox rocket and basically what that what you need for that is Some matches aluminum foil paper clip and some scissors It was kind of weird because it was hard to find uh, Just like a little pack of paper clips, but at the same time not the super little ones But I didn't need like a hundred thousand of them. You know, that's how they sell them just like in millions I don't expect it to go crazy but just in case if it fucking shoots up, I should probably do this outside, but I'm not expecting it to do anything insane. So what you need to do is cut the tip off of the match. Okay. So I think you need the, the stem of it for like a second and then you don't need it at all anymore. So what you're gonna do with, the, with it is you're gonna roll it up and put the tip at the top of it. I might actually end up do this end up doing this outside cuz you know with my luck it'll fucking cuz sometimes these things can go like 100 miles an hour and 60 feet up into the air and then take out the stem. Guys, I'm not an astrologist. I don't really know how to do this exactly. I just watched a YouTube video and I think I know what to do. And what you need the paper clip for is kind of like a stand, just like a stand to let it shoot off from. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go get set up outside. I'm getting nervous. Nervous. Okay, there's your thing. There's your matchbox rocket. I'm outside now. I, I can't stress out, but all right, here we go. Yo, did you see that? It like trapped it though. Poo, it was hot. Damn. I think we're gonna have to try one more. We're gonna have to try one more. Golly, that was awesome. Yeah. All right, I feel like this one's gonna catch some air. All right, ready, ready, ready?
Damn. Damn. That's sick though. That's tight. It didn't fly, but it was awesome though. Next is fi the final experiment. I know. I know. Leave a like if you want more science experiment videos. But the next one is the Cocomintos challenge. I don't really know how to make a, um, a rocket because I don't have like the, I don't know. Are you supposed to take some of it out or something? I'm low-key scared because like there's there's my car, there's the, the house, there's telephone wires. I might just do it in the lawn, if I'm honest. Hey, you know, it looks kind of magical though, you know? Like with the flowers coming off of this tree. I mean, like, watch. I don't know if you saw that, probably not. I kind of taped eight Mentos to some tape and I'm gonna just kind of drop it in and it's gonna stay on the top until I shake it. And then it's gonna be a rocket. So. The trick is, are these bubbles, right? It's okay, it'll fit, right? I don't think it's gonna fit. It's already reacting. Okay. All right. Rock solid, bitch. What if it hits me in the face? Oh. No, did I wait too long? Oh! There was a car behind us. God damn. Why is it not fucking worth <laughs> Woo! Nice. God damn it. Hi. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed. Um, leave a like. <laughs> <sighs> All right. In conclusion, at the end of the day, I don't think I'm a very good scientist. Beep, tweet bot.